Frequent viewers of the Discovery Channel reality series Deadliest Catch are no strangers to tragedy. But the 2020 loss of Maylon Reyes has some fans wondering if the show is cursed. With the deaths of a half a dozen cast members over the years, unfortunate events have struck the cast and fan base of the fishing-themed reality series time and time again. Captain Phil Harris, Todd Cochutin, and Tony Lara are just some of the show's many personalities who have died in recent memory. As Catch fans know, Reyes worked as a deckhand on the boats Seabrook and Cape Caution, appearing in 14 episodes of the Discovery Channel show plus a number of specials. In a statement, a representative from the Discovery Channel confirmed Reyes died in his hometown of Whitefish, Montana, from what was originally reported to be a heart attack. Though he initially survived the heart attack, Reyes never regained consciousness, and as a result, it was decided the deckhand would be taken off of life support. A short time later, Reyes died surrounded by his friends and family. He was just 38 years old. According to TMZ, at the time that Reyes died, he was recovering at home with a recently torn Achilles tendon, an injury sustained while crabbing on the boat. You can see where something down here is up. He reportedly was very focused on rehabbing the injury, doing everything he could to be ready for the next season. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be as his life was cut short by an unexpected danger, cocaine. Yes, according to USA Today, it was soon revealed that the ultimate cause of death was an accidental cocaine overdose. Though Melon Reyes did have a heart attack leading to his hospitalization, removal from life support, and eventual death, a Flathead County Sheriff's Office report later explained that autopsy and toxicology results indicated the heart failure was a result of an overdose. No foul play was suspected. According to WebMD, Chronic cocaine use can lead to a number of health conditions that tax the cardiovascular system and increase the risk of heart attack and death. In a memorial posted on Facebook, the Reyes family wrote that Melon spent too much time without oxygen, which caused the irreversible brain damage. On Sunday night, our family together made the hardest choice we've ever made, and that was to remove him from life support. Melon's body was tired and had put up an amazing fight. He was the strongest guy we knew. He was surrounded by so much love. Reyes's death shocked friends, family, and fans of the deadliest catch around the world, as there was no known pre-existing conditions that could contribute to a fatal heart issue in someone so young. In an email, his wife Heather Sullivan said those who knew him were mourning the sudden loss. I am in awe of the people that he touched just by his positive attitude and smile. Reyes was my rock and I was his. And in the aftermath of the reality TV star's death, the Discovery Channel issued a statement that read in part, so sad. He was so young, our thoughts and prayers to his family. Sadly, Reyes died only a short time before another deadliest catch star, Nick McGlashan. According to the US Sun, Reyes's friend also died from a drug overdose, as McGlashan reportedly had meth, cocaine, and fentanyl in his system when he died. Sadly, according to Saltwire, substance abuse issues are an ongoing challenge in the fishing industry, where the workplace death rate among fishermen is notably higher than most other industries. Reyes was cremated, and his ashes were scattered in two places that his wife Heather Sullivan said were very dear to his heart, the Bering Sea and Montana's Swan Range Mountains, where Reyes and his brother would often spend time together. Reyes was survived by his wife and four children. After Reyes' death was announced, Sullivan posted on Facebook, Reyes touched so many lives, and he is up there smiling and watching over my protector from the sky. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.